J.C. Horn is expected to hear his name during the first round of the NFL Draft later today. The former South Carolina Gamecock was a three-year starter for Will Muschamp's defense and looks to be a day-one starter come the start of the 2021 NFL football season. But who is J.C. Horn? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up-and-coming collegiate and pro athletes. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It helps the video do better in the algorithm. If there's a player you want to see in future episodes, make sure to leave it in the comments section below. Also, let me know who you think will be drafting Horn later tonight. JC Horn was born in Missouri, but was originally raised in Destrehan, Louisiana. His father, Joe Horn, is a former NFL wide receiver after being drafted in the fifth round of the 1996 NFL Draft. He would go on to play 12 seasons in the NFL, playing for the Kansas City Chiefs, New Orleans Saints, and Atlanta Falcons. While in the NFL, Joe Horn would be named to four Pro Bowls and had 8,744 career receiving yards. JC also has two brothers. His older brother, Joe Jr., played wide receiver at Missouri Western State and was signed by the Baltimore Ravens as an undrafted free agent in 2019. He would then go on to play in the XFL. JC's younger brother, Jacob, recently finished his freshman year as a wide receiver for Texas State. Growing up, JC's family moved a lot due to his father's playing career in the NFL. During youth football, JC played quarterback and linebacker, but his first love as a kid was for basketball. When Horn's family moved to Tupelo, Mississippi, JC would give up playing football due to the local high school team not being very good. During his freshman and sophomore year, JC Horn attended Moorville High School, where he would become a star on the basketball court playing on varsity as a freshman and sophomore. Horn earned the nickname Shrimp due to being 5'7 and 140 pounds as a freshman, but that did not stop him from being a great player. His high school basketball coach at Moorville, Jim Talley, told the state, he was just kind of a basketball player while he was here, and a pretty darn good one. Moorville was not a very good sports program, having not made the state semifinals since the 1990s, and they were coming off a 6-19 season going into Horn's freshman year. JC was able to help flip the script for Moorville as they would make it to the state semifinals that year. Former teammate Mitchell Tharp told the state JC always acted like he'd been there before. Even ninth grade, starting for varsity, going to state, it was a big deal at the school, but he always came prepared. During his sophomore year, Moorville would win 37 games, and since 2016, have only had two double-digit win seasons, but have not finished above 500. After his sophomore year, JC and his family moved to Georgia. JC and his family would move to Alpharetta, Georgia, where Horn would go on to play for Alpharetta High School. While he continued playing basketball, Horn also took football back up, playing both cornerback and wide receiver. As a junior, Horn had seven interceptions in 2016. The following year, as a senior, Horn recorded 44 tackles and five interceptions while also averaging 12.2 yards on 13 punt returns. He helped lead his team to an 11-2 record in the third round of the 2017 Georgia State playoffs. JC would be named the first team All-State and finished his high school career as the school's all-time leader in interceptions with 12. Might I add, he broke the school record in two seasons. His high school football coach, Jacob Nichols, told USA Today, anytime a ball is thrown in his area, he's in good position. He's got a shot at it. Horn would be named to the Under Armour All-American team as well. When given his All-American jersey, he was quoted saying how he never saw his football success coming. Coming out of high school, Horn measured to be six feet tall and tried to play like Patrick Peterson and Xavier Rhodes. He told USA Today, Peterson can always take away the number one receiver in a game, and Rhodes is a big corner who takes away that saying that most big corners should be safeties. According to 24-7 Sports Composite, J.C. Horn was a four-star recruit who's the 22nd best corner, 26th best player in Georgia, and 209th best player nationally. He received over 40 different Division I offers from the likes of Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, South Carolina, and Tennessee. Coming out of high school, he was 6 feet tall and was 174 pounds. According to Joseph Zucker of Bleacher Report, he has the speed and lateral agility to keep pace with opposing wideouts downfield, and he has the instincts and acceleration to break quickly on a pass when patrolling a certain area of the field. In June of 2017, Horn came out and said his college decision was between Alabama and South Carolina. But then Tennessee, who had looked to be out of the race for JC's talents, gained some steam in July, and Horn ultimately chose to commit to the Volunteers before his senior year. 
After making his commitment, Horn told SEC Country, out of the three schools I'm looking at right now, I feel like I could start as a freshman at any of them. So now I'm looking at relationships and what coaches I feel more comfortable with. Then Tennessee head coach Butch Jones was fired and Horn decided to reopen his recruitment. After reopening his recruitment, Horn decided to commit to South Carolina in December of 2017, ahead of the early signing period. A really cool fact is that Joe Horn, JC's father, was actually recruited to the Gamecocks out of high school and almost signed with them, but instead had to go to the community college route due to his academics. Joe never told his son that story until he had signed with the school. JC's father believed his son could be a starter right away for the Gamecocks, and JC told the state he thinks I could come in and have an opportunity to play at South Carolina, but I'm not saying I'm going to come in and automatically start, because it's D1 SEC. You're going to have to put in the work anywhere you go. JC would become a starter right away at South Carolina, becoming the seventh true freshman to start for the Gamecocks since 2009. He would play well throughout the season, being named to the 24-7 Sports Mid-Season True Freshman All-American team. He finished second on the team in pass breakups with eight, while also recording 45 tackles, four tackles for a loss, and two sacks in 11 games, 10 of which were starts. He finished the season being named to the SEC All-Freshman team and finished on the SEC Academic Honor Roll. During his sophomore year, Horn would start all 12 of South Carolina's games. During the season opener, Horn had five tackles, two forced fumbles, a sack, and a pass breakup against North Carolina. Later in the season, J.C. Horn matched his career high in tackles with seven in an upset win over Georgia. Horn finished the year leading the team with nine pass breakups while also having 40 tackles, two tackles for a loss, one sack, and two forced fumbles. Going into his junior year, there were some critics of Horn due to him not having recorded an interception yet in his career. Horn had a valid reason of why he had not recorded an interception. He had not had too many opportunities from quarterbacks. After a blowout win over Vanderbilt, he told The Advocate after, I heard a lot of people saying I don't have ball skills, which is crazy to me. I just knew a day would come where I would have a lot of opportunities to make plays. Going against Auburn, Horn would record his first two career interceptions and four pass breakups while shadowing Auburn wide receiver Seth Williams. Horn would opt out after seven games starting all seven games. He recorded 16 tackles, one tackle for a loss, while leading the team in pass deflections and interceptions with 8-2 and two respectively. He was named second team All-SAC and finished his South Carolina career playing 30 games, starting 29 of them, while recording 101 tackles, 7 tackles for a loss, 3 sacks, 2 forced fumbles, 25 pass deflections, and 2 interceptions. Going into tonight's draft, Mel Kuyper Jr. has Horn going 16th overall to the Cardinals. He is the second rated cornerback in the class behind Patrick Sertain. He ran a 4 4 40 yard dash at his pro day as well. According to The Athletic, overall Horn needs to refine his discipline and finishing skills, but he is a long agile athlete with outstanding instincts, bloodlines, and competitive mentality. He projects as an NFL starting press man corner in the keep to lead mold. Horn is a name to watch tonight and should be great at the next level. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other episodes in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.